Big day for Warner Brothers Discovery. Not so much as far as investors are concerned. The stock dropping 4.5% at the moment as the company announces a big change for its streaming platform. With the details, Yahoo Finance's Ali Canal. Wow. Uh, from the open, the stock dropped, but mm -hmm. upon this release, it fell further. Not a great reaction to Max. Yeah, it seems to be accelerating a bit. Now, there were some things that were revealed that, that had been reported on. So, for example, the name, we officially got the name as Max. There's a lot of commentary on Twitter about whether they should have dropped the HBO component of it, but the emphasis throughout this entire call was that they don't want this to just be an association with HBO and that high profile scripted content. They want to emphasize that this is a place where you have everyone in the family can go and watch something. So you have that discovery content, all the reality TV shows, Chip and Joanna Gaines, Dr. Pimple Popper, and then you can also watch Succession <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, so, so that is the name of the game here. It's going to be released on May 23rd. It comes in three tiers. The first two tiers match the current HBO Max pricing. So we have that ad supported option at $9.99 a month, the ad free version. $15.99 a month. And then there's going to be this new third tier dubbed Max Ultimate. It is ad free and it will cost $19.99 a month. You can get up to four concurrent streams, up to 4K ultra streaming. But guys, this is pricey, you know, especially when you consider all that competition. But again, they're really leaning in on the fact that they are one of the only services that have this much content that you can dive into and that there's something for kids, there's something for parents, there's something for teenagers. And that's really what they really wanted to emphasize throughout this entire presentation. And Ali, speaking of the content, they have some new content that they're also planning to add to the platform. What do we know there? So I mentioned that wide range of content within that are those long storied franchises like Harry Potter, for example. And we will be getting a TV series, a live action TV series based on the Harry Potter book. So this is going to be a completely new cast. JK Rowling serves as producer. So really leaning in on that franchise content, which we have seen from competitors like Paramount, for example, they have really leaned on franchises and their whole argument there is, you know, you already have this built in audience. We're at this pivotal moment where profitability trumps scale. So they want to make sure that not only are they luring subscribers into the platform, but they that they are retaining those uh, subscribers as well. Ooh, everyone's going to be all mad about the JK development. The People, haters are going to oh, come and, out. And the hardcore Harry Potter fans, I have friends that are hardcore about this. Right. They Dave's seem hardcore, right? They yeah. seem a bit disappointed. Love Harry Potter. Because why touch something that has such an iconic legacy? I don't know. Are you excited about this? Oh, I think As the more the fan? more the better. I the think Harry Potter's okay. fantastic. I think the kids that a, a whole new generation That's loves true. this movie and series of movies. So why not incorporate a whole I new generation? I can't picture a new cast, it. right? Daniel Radcliffe is That's Harry a good point. Potter. You know what I mean? I know. So and Dave like can it. be a tough critic sometimes on <laughs> yeah. these remakes. I don't hey, know man. if you're gonna like it. By the way, huge succession news. I mean, did you see the latest episode? I did see the latest episode. Dave, I've shown my entire family your your cameos. I've been oh. texting. This my is friend. what he loves to hear. He, I'm a big star. He's a, he's a star, kid. You're gonna be a star. <laughs> star among us. All right, Ali Canal. Great stuff. Thanks.